where do you get pet supplies and dog food? And what type of dog food do you go and pick up? Up next on Yeti's Place. Hi guys, this is Yeti the Sammy Ed, and I'm Yeti's mom. And welcome to Yeti's Place. On this channel, we talk about what excites and energizes Yeti by posting videos just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Let's get started. So Yeti, he loves eating Canady dog food. This is a small bag of Canady. This is a five pound bag. And this is one of the foods that he likes to eat. Canady is one of those all natural dog foods. Uh, chicken meal, turkey meal, lamb meal, brown rice, white rice, rice bran, peas, potatoes, oatmeal, cracked pearled barley, chicken fat, millet, so on and so forth. The list is like this long and nearly every single ingredient is all natural ingredients. So this stuff is really, really healthy. And he loves this stuff. He gets about two and a half cups like actual measuring cups worth of food in the evening and then two and a half cups during the daytime. We buy the Canady for Yeti from the feed store um, or else you can get it from Petco at Petco or PetSmart. It's more expensive than it would be at, at a feed store. So if you have a local feed store, I would recommend going there instead. So for dog grooming, we use a few different brushes on Yeti. I start off with this brush. So it has these heads on it that, that swivel around and the heads are, get in into the mats and they're able to detangle the mats really easily and it doesn't pull on his skin and pull on his fur so it's nice and gentle to him and when I use this brush a lot of dog fur comes out like epic amounts of Yeti come out. So we really like this brush. It's a very nice brush and it works really, really well. Another brush we use after we get done with that first brush is this brush. This brush is a slicker brush and this one's nice because I can put my fingers on this part as I'm brushing him. And what I do with it is I pull part of his fur up and then with the brush, I go down like this and it helps detangle everything and it helps poof him up and makes him look really pretty. Then once we finish with this brush, then we go on to this brush. I have no idea what these brushes are called. Um, this guy, actually the, the, this thing, um, it comes out and you just use this on the dog and a lot of fur comes out on, on this but it helps to to make his fur look pretty when you're done then we do yeti's favorite i'm joking activity and that is to cut his nails and this guy has a switch or it has like a locking mechanism right here that goes up and down um, when it's up it it locks it into place and then on the back side is this um, guard for when you put the nail in there, it, it stops the nail so that you don't cut it too short. And then after we get that done, then I go after his nails using a nail, doggy nail file, which is, it's like V-shaped and it's curved. So I put his nail in there and I just file back and forth. And then we use the scissors to trim his fur between his pads and also around the outside of the paw. Now some of Yeti's favorite toys, hey Yeti come here look, look. This ball is like a squishy ball and it's nice and soft and Yeti loves chasing after this guy and this guy is really bouncy. Another one of his favorites is a tennis ball. He loves tennis balls and every night he barks at me to tell me, hey mom, let's play fetch. Mom, 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 let's play fetch. Come on, mom. Hurry up, you gotta throw the ball. You gotta throw the ball. I wanna play fetch. Come on, mom. Of course, we have multiples of these guys around the house. And this had meat on it a long time ago. Now it has a lot of teeth marks because it's been well eaten, well loved. Yeti loves ribeye bones. It's heavy and it, it weighs a lot and it's been here for years. 
in this type of condition. You don't want to get a rawhide bone at all because rawhide bones, their dogs have a tough time digesting them and it can cause stomach problems and, and make them really sick. You can also get bones at your grocery store too. You can go up to the butcher's counter and you can ask them if they have any, any beef bones for, <laughs> for dogs and they'll, they'd be happy to, to give you some beef bones for, for dogs. Thank you so much for joining us. This pup, his name is Yeti, and I'm Yeti's mom. Thank you.